Welcome to This Week in Divorce on the Divorce News Network with your host, Scott Cahill. Hello and welcome again to This Week in Divorce. I'm Scott Cahill and I'm going to be your host for some great talk, all things divorce related, celebrity divorce, divorce news, divorce information, divorce advice. When you need divorce information, This Week in Divorce is always here to serve you well. We have a very special show today in that uh, a story we actually reported on last week, the Professor Child website is uh, doing some fantastic work uh, in the realm of uh, divorce advice and in particular uh, divorce advice for children and today we're lucky enough to have the creators and producers of the Professor Child website with us on the air today. Hello ladies, can you hear me? Yes, hi Scott. Yes, hi there. Hi. So, hi Scott. Hi ladies, so uh, happy to have you all on the show. We are we're all very, very impressed uh, with the Professor Child website and some of the work uh, that you're, you're doing in areas that we're certainly interested in and are certainly well needed uh, in this area. Uh, why don't we go around and maybe just start, if you could, uh, introduce yourselves one at a time and uh, go ahead and give us a little bit of your background. And let's go ahead and start with Jenny. Thanks, Scott. Um, I speak on behalf of everybody at Professor Child, and we're so happy to have the opportunity to speak with you today. Uh, my name is Jenny O'Keefe, um, and I have a background in business and marketing, and most recently have been with a advertising agency in Bend, Oregon, although I recently have moved on to begin working on Professor Child full-time. So I bring a business background to to Professor Child. All right, fantastic. Moving down the line, Sharon, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself and give us a little bit about your background? Sure. Hi, Scott. Um, so I'm Sharon Richards, and I work in Bend, Oregon for St. Charles Hospital, and I've been a mental health therapist for almost 15 years now. Um, for the first probably eight, nine years, I worked primarily with kids and their families. And in the last five years, I've switched over to working with adults in the college setting. So I kind of bring to Professor Child the mental health and therapy perspective. All right, fantastic. And then uh, lastly, we have Miss Rory Kidder. Rory, go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and in introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your background as well. Great. Thanks, Scott. Um, as you said, my name is Rory Kidder, and I am a former public school teacher. I taught in the public schools in Bend for nine years. And then now, um, for the past four or five years, I've been tutoring kids out of my home and then working on Professor Child. So I come from an education background. Okay, fantastic. And uh, together, the three of you are hopefully going to revolutionize the way uh, we look at uh, <laughs> divorce and children and whatnot. Um, and I guess that's a great segue for me to get right into this. And uh, I, I guess, how did, the, how did the whole idea of Professor Child come about? Many years ago, um, I personally, Jenny, was searching for something for my niece who had recently lost her little brother. He had died, and I was looking for some type of tool for her. Um, and I was a bit dismayed at what I was finding and that I wasn't finding anything that I felt really comfortable giving to her. I wanted to give something to her that offered her a sense of hope. I wanted her to know that she and that other children had experienced this and that she would survive. Um, so that's how the idea came that we had, there was an opportunity to create something really special in the marketplace. Um, and bringing in Sharon and Rory, the three of us really work so well together and as you can tell from our backgrounds, we bring a diverse background that really balances out. And together, we um, came up this idea that we think is, you know, going to, like you said, rev revolutionize um, and uh, um, help kids going through challenging life events. Um, divorce, obviously, being one of those. Well, that's fantastic. And you know, the one thing that I love about what you guys are doing, and when I said, you know, you're really revolutionizing it, 
so often when we think of how-to videos or advice videos for kids, you always think of some stuffy, gray-haired PhD guy in a, in a smoking jacket in front of a fireplace, and you're thinking, hey, my, my kid's playing Pokemon. How's he going to re relate to this guy? So I, I, who, who was the one that came up with the idea specifically, let's let kids tell their stories in, with the goal of helping other kids? You know, I don't think it was any one moment. It was very organic in the way that it came mm -hmm. about. And through many, many discussions, lots of research, hours of discussion. So it really help, helped organic. It, uh, it came about organically. And it, it was... It's so funny that we, you know, and we do not want to dismiss traditional therapy. It's absolutely wonderful, and it certainly plays a part in children's lives. But the fact that children um, relate so well to each other and that there's such an opportunity to learn and feel hope from hearing one another's stories, um, you know, we're no experts at all in this. The experts are the children. They're the ones that are helping these other kids. That's fantastic. And really when you, you know, when you think of some of the greatest things that come about through technology and innovation, sometimes the simplest ideas are always the best ideas. And uh, ha having children of my own, there's such a, such a brutal honesty that kids can, can, can share with others. Um, when, when I heard the story about your website, once again, I I a, immediately knew that it was something that just wasn't out there. It's, it's really hard to find divorce information uh, geared towards children and how they could relate and how they could cope. And even furthermore, once again, just the whole idea of kids helping other kids is such a, is such a fantastic idea. And uh, really, all, all three of you are really to, to be applauded for, for really putting your best foot forward and just and moving forward with this to help others for sure. Now, uh, did, did some of you actually have your own experiences then with divorce specifically where, you know, when you're working on this project, you're saying, hey, I remember when I went through my issue that this was something that I had an issue with or this was something I think others could help with. Was there any personal issues or personal stories that help you, help you bring this forth uh, more effectively? You know, what's interesting is that all three of us have been affected by divorce in different ways. But I know for me specifically, I was really affected by my sister's divorce six years ago. And I observed the effects it had on my three nephews. They, they each reacted differently when they found out, and what's interesting is six years later, they continue to deal with it differently. So for me, uh, my personal experience was really gaining an understanding that divorce isn't a one-time event. It's something children continually deal with, and I think that really comes across in our film, um, that even though each child has their own unique experience with divorce and their own story, there's, there's common themes that run through the film that I think all children will be able to relate to. Absolutely. Now, that uh, leads me right to the, the next question. I suppose this is probably a really good question for Sharon or Rory, but uh, what are some of the simple mistakes that parents do make uh, when dealing with uh, children during, during a divorce or during post-divorce? Well, Scott, when, if you've watched the video or when you do watch the video, um, there's a section that says uh, the kids are giving advice to parents. And the common theme that runs throughout that chapter um, is, is not surprising to me at all. Um, and it was, it was just wonderful to hear so many different kids say this, um, that the kids just do not want their parents to talk badly about each other in front of the kids. Um, and that includes any kind of fighting with each other, arguments, whether it be over the phone or in person or during drop-offs and exchanges. The kids just want to be completely left out of any kind of adult problems having to do with the divorce. And it sounds so completely obvious that parents would do that, but I think they're just so stressed out and they have so many problems. It just kind of bleeds over into happening right in front of their children. And that's really the biggest point that I took from that chapter. Um, our little experts wanted to really hone in on that is don't 
don't bring your problems up in front of us. We basically don't want to hear it. And so the kids just feel really caught in the middle. Um, it's a common theme from groups that I had run a divorce groups in the schools with kids. That was always the first thing that came up that kids would bring up is we don't want to be caught in the middle. And I have this image in my mind that is just uh, of this one little boy once who I asked to draw a picture of what divorce le looked like to him. And he drew a picture of himself with mom pulling on his like right hand and dad pulling on his left hand in the opposite direction. And then he just put it like a jagged line down the middle of himself. And, and it was just like such a perfect picture just to demonstrate how kids feel very caught in the middle of the divorce. They don't want to be there. They want to be kids. And if parents take away nothing more than that from this film, they'll be taking away something really fantastic. I couldn't agree more. And what a, what a heart wrenching image and, and picture that is for sure. Uh, Hey, uh, I'll tell you what, ladies, we got to take a, just a quick 40-second uh, break, but we'll be right back, and we'll carry on with our conversation, okay? All right, great. Thanks, okay. Scott. All right, thank you. Are you looking to get a divorce but don't have the money to spend on legal fees? For a decade, MyDivorcePapers.com has helped people get their uncontested, no-fault divorces quickly, affordably, and easily. Our forms are 100% guaranteed, come with instructions, and are available instantly through download or shipped to your address. Just create an account, answer the questions, and file the documents. Visit us at www.MyDivorcePapers.com today and get started. All right, we're back on This Week in Divorce, brought to you by DivorceNewsNetwork.tv and MyDivorcePapers.com. We're on the air right now with uh, three of the creators of a wonderful new website uh, talking about their film, uh, dealing specifically with children issues uh, as it pertains towards divorce. Uh, we have with us right now Miss Rory, Rory Kidder, Jenny O'Keefe, <laughs> and Miss Sharon Richards, all once again the founders, creators of the ProfessorChild.com website. Now we were talking a little bit about uh, you know, divorce advice as far as how parents should treat their kids and whatnot. And, and I know this is a question because, uh, a weird question because kids are so innocent, but is there, is there specifically maybe a, a really easy golden rule that maybe you uh, parents that may be going through the divorce process right now and have children? Is there, is there a, a tidbit, a golden, a golden piece of advice for kids when mom and dad are going through divorce that they should maybe remember and try to learn from? I think the best piece of advice comes from the kids themselves, and that also is in this film. Um, part of, I can't remember what chapter it's in, but the kids are talking about how when the parents are fighting the different things that they do, some of the things mentioned were that they'll go to a friend's house or a neighbor's house to play, they'll uh, watch a movie, play a video game, but basically to do anything they can do to get out of earshot of their parents fighting. So there's a really great piece in the film about that that comes directly from the kids, and I certainly couldn't say it any better than they do. And I would also like to add, Scott, that one thing that really came across for me was, um, oh, I'm blanking on it right now, but it was the kids just talking. Just that That's the one thing they said that helped all of them is to talk to counselors, friends, anybody you can trust. But I think as parents, Going through a divorce, it's important to keep the, communi the communication going and to let kids know that it's not their fault. Mm, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I don't know if they're out there or not, but it would certainly be uh, helpful if there was, uh, you know, maybe some type of online presence specifically for kids. I know my children have uh, their websites they like to go to, Club Penguin and Disney websites and things like that. It would be certainly a, a wonderful addition to uh, to the internet world if there was resources specifically regarding uh, that field for children. To be sure, uh, let me get one more question here before uh, I go and read some messages from our uh, chat room. But what would what are the overall goals for the film? And I guess 
Here's even a better question is how are, how are we going to measure the goals on how successful or unsuccessful? And once again, I should preface that with saying it's not going to be unsuccessful because if one person gets help from it, it's a home run in all of our opinion. But what are kind of uh, some of the goals we've set for, uh, for the film, ladies? Well, I can speak to um, the goals for the film. I mean, mainly, first and foremost, we want kids to know that they aren't alone in their experience and that um, the issues that come up from child to child very often um, can be very simple. Similar, like Rory was saying earlier, there's lots of common threads that the kids have that run throughout the film that you'll see. Um, so for kids to know that they're not alone with their issues, and hopefully in that process, some more healing will happen just by hearing other people's stories, um, listening to advice their own peers have to say, working on the exercises in the workbook that we have that, that corresponds with the video. And then ultimately, in the end, we hope the kids feel very empowered that they themselves can also talk to other kids um, about how they're feeling and offer advice themselves to other kids who are going through the same thing. Fantastic. And uh, that's funny you mentioned that. I'm Some people in our chat room, they're asking, uh, you know, how can, how can people watch the film? How can people get the entire package? It sounds like the package... Uh, Come, comes with a film and a workbook. Why don't you tell us what does, how can they see it and, and if they go to the website, what, what do they get when they order the film? Sure. Well, when you go to professorchild.com, uh, we have a trailer of the film that you can watch, which will give you an idea of, of the children's stories and the interviews. And in the film, it's, once again, I'm just going to repeat, it's just children sharing their stories. There's no adults. Um, it's just their voices. So on our website, professorchild.com, you can purchase the DVD or instantly download the film. And when you purchase the film, you have the option to download a free companion workbook that corresponds with each chapter in the film. Okay, that is fantastic. And uh, once again, you could find all of this information and order that at uh, www.professorchild.com and uh, we'll try to go ahead and put that link uh, somewhere uh, on our show as well so people can get in touch with uh, that. Um, let me ask you too, um, it, it sounds like together you guys have really come up with a fantastic idea and it also sounds like it might be pretty handy and openly lend itself for other projects of similar nature. Have we thought about uh, what what comes after this, uh, the Professor Child for Divorce? Yeah, Scott, we're currently in post-production on two additional films, one with children telling their stories um, about ha having parents who serve in the military or overseas. We've spoken with children who have a sibling who's on the autism spectrum, um, autism spectrum, and we are going to be filming later this month a film focusing on bereavement and grief. So children telling their stories of what it was like to lose a, a loved one. Wow, that is, that is fantastic. Uh, and once again, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud that you guys came on and just, just so pleased to have you because this is just information that is not available and it's, it's funny, on the internet you can find anything about anything and some of the most craziest subjects that you would never know people are into, but when it comes to something that touches so many, it's just not there. So I, I really applaud all of you ladies for, for putting your best foot forward and, uh, and doing this. Have you thought too, uh, are, are we gonna uh, maybe take it a step further? Are there some works on maybe doing some things for teenagers or young adults? Absolutely. You know, the possibilities are quite endless. The topics are endless. Um, the age range in some of our films goes up to 16. So um, we are looking at doing things for younger kids, older kids, possibly expanding outside of films. So we're really excited about the future and uh, feel so excited about the feedback that we're getting, that this is something that is so needed. So we are, we're very enthusiastic. All right, fantastic. Well, we uh, are going to be wrapping it up here as we're just about out of time. Uh, why don't one of you go ahead and give uh, your own plug about your uh, Professor Child website? 
please visit like us it. online at www.professorchild.com. We're also on Facebook. We'd love to hear. We love to hear from people who viewed the film. We love any and all feedback. Um, please take a look at the workbook, and uh, we're so excited to get the word out. Fantastic. All right, ladies, thank you so much for joining us on the show. You guys have a great day. Thank Thanks, you, Scott. Scott. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, well, that's just about all the time we have today. Once again, this is Scott Cahill for This Week in Divorce saying good night. Thank you for listening to another show on This Week in Divorce on Blog Talk Radio. Tune in next week for more informative, intelligent, and interesting news on divorce and the world it entertains. Be sure to visit us online at www.divorcenewsnetwork.tv. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest breaking news and more great stories about divorce.